Thank you for spending your time here with us at the Copper Country Humane Society. My name is Caitlin and I'm a staff member here. The first thing I would like to start with is the proper way for entering into the building. When you enter the building in through the front door, immediately sign in and talk to the staff member so we know you're there. It is very important to never run while you're in the facility, whether you're with the dogs or the cats. They can startle them very much and we really don't want to do that. It is important to always dress appropriately for the weather. In the winter, be sure to be wearing a hat, gloves, and a winter jacket. We also highly recommend wearing snow boots as you will be outside walking on our trails. Never wear open-toed shoes or heels. You want to be wearing something sensible, such as sneakers, hiking boots, anything like that. You're gonna to wanna to wear a shirt that you don't care if it gets too dirty or hairy because things like that can happen when you're working with animals. Another thing to remember is to not wear dangling jewelry. Animals can get stuck in there and it can cause big problems. Now that you're wearing the proper attire, let's go through some things that we need to learn with the dogs. Never run in the dog area, always walk. Never scream and yell. We want to be quiet because we want the dogs to feel as safe and comfortable here as possible. Another thing to remember is never, under any circumstances, put your fingers in any dog kennel because you don't know how the dog is going to react to that and we don't want any injuries. Always only enter and exit the building through the front door. The doors on the side are for staff use only. It is very important to never handle a dog in the building, especially in the dog area. This is for your safety and for the safety of the dogs. Always obey signs on the kennels. Some dogs are on special diets and can't have treats. Some are very, very frightened and can be aggressive. So you want to leave those dogs alone, let them have time to settle in. Never open a dog kennel. Always ask staff for assistance. Now that we've gone through the proper ways to visit the dogs in the dog area, we're gonna move on to the best way to walk a dog. We're going to start with leash handling. When taking a dog for a walk, always be sure to hold the leash in the proper way. You need to put your hand through the loop at the end of the leash and hold tightly. Now some leashes can be long, so you are gonna have to hold the leash with your other hand to keep the dog a little bit closer. Remember to never wrap the leash around your fingers. This could be very, very dangerous for you. Please never take a leash off a dog. A staff member will assist you if you want to play with the dog out in our yard. When you are going to walk a dog, you have to go outside and ring our doorbell at our dog walking door. There, a staff member will meet you and you can tell them what dog you would like to walk or they can uh, find a dog for you that they think will suit your abilities best. When you're waiting at the dog door to walk a dog or to bring your dog back from a walk, please be patient. Staff are busy taking care of other animals and they will get to you. If you are ever given a dog to walk that you feel uncomfortable with, or that you feel that you're not gonna be able to handle because it's too large or strong, let the staff member know immediately. They will happily get you a different dog. When you are given a dog to walk, you will be told if the dog does or does not get along with other dogs. If your dog does not get along with other dogs, make sure you hold the leash tight and keep the dog close to you, especially when you're coming across another dog. While you are walking a dog on our trails, if you come across another volunteer walking another dog, stay to the complete opposite side of the path. Make sure that your dog is on the right side of your body to keep the most distance between the two dogs as possible. Remember, if any dogs ever get in any fights, do not yourself try to break them up. Notify staff immediately so that they can separate the dogs the proper way. This is for the safety of you and the dogs. 
always pay close attention to your dog's behavior. And if you notice your dog is, does not seem to be feeling well, please notify staff so we can give them the medical attention they may need. Now that we've gone through the proper way to walk a dog, we're going to look at the behavioral signs of dogs. If a dog is ever growling or baring its teeth at you, leave the dog alone. It is very frightened and needs some time to calm down and relax. Never stare a dog directly in the eye. They can see this as a challenge for dominance, and this could become very dangerous. Never tower over a dog. Don't make yourself look bigger than you are. This also can be seen as a challenge for dominance. Always move slowly and calmly towards a dog. Be very quiet and allow the dog to come up to you. When meeting a new dog, let the dog sniff your hand. If the dog turns away from you or starts growling or anything like that, leave the dog alone. If a dog is gently wagging his tail with a smile on his face and looking up at you with loving, adoring eyes, definitely safe to pet that dog. Never run up and hug a dog. This could startle the dog, which could result in some injuries which we don't want to occur. One of the most important things here is never to abuse the dogs. You do not hit punch, kick, or in any other way harm the dog. If you do this, you will be told to leave. Everybody here at CCHS would like to thank you for your volunteering. It is very important for our dogs to be walked and get socialized with other people. This is very, very important to the dog's transition into a home. No matter what kind of volunteering you do here at the Copper Country Humane Society, it is very important to us and all of the animals. Thank you so much for your help. Without you, our organization would not be as wonderful as it is today.